Alright guys, welcome back to another Infinite Magical Ray video. This is going to be an exciting video because I want to showcase a mythic champion I just got very recently. I just got her a couple days ago. That is Brimhild. Alright, so this has been no secret lately. All right, he, she's been on the top of PvP tier since like a month or two ago. Um, the developer reworked her or empowered her skill kit and she is super super good right now in top tier arena and the best thing about this champion this mythic hero is that you actually she's gonna work the same if you don't put um exclusive on her i mean of course exclusive her is gonna make her stronger but if you got a baseline version it's going to work all right that's what i have for now brim healed five star Awakened, uh, no exclusive for now, but it's gonna work, all right? She is a defensive base champion, and yeah, we're gonna do a showcase of her in this video. Um, I'm gonna walk through her gearing, emblems, and do some couple arena showcase. It's gonna be an exciting video. Let's get into it. First, today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Aptoid. I think the week I'm going to release the, this video, the developer is going to do a series of Easter event in Infinite Magic Array. There are going to be a lot of uh, free stuff and juicy rewards if you participate in some in-game event. And also we're going to have some very good value pack. And if you want to spend a little money in this game, you can download Aptoid. They are offering, they are already offering 30 to 40% in-game discount. and if you use my promo code and this week you are going to get additional 10% discount so it's a good deal if you want to spend money like just use this app why not save yourself save yourself some money you know all right this video is sponsored by Aptoid playing infant match rate on Aptoid will give you up to 35% recharging discount all you have to do is download Aptoid and download Infant Match Crate within Aptoid and then you can open up the game and if you want to spend any amount in this game by using this app, it will give you straight 20% discount and then it will give you 10% cash back any amount, even if you're only spending $1 then it will save you 30 cents Additionally, you can save 5% more by using my promo code in the description and pinned comments below. To apply my promo code, you will have to download AppCoin's wallet going to the app. And on the top right corner, you can apply my promo code here, which will give you 5% extra discount. So save 35% just like that. Easy and fast. All right, now let's just get into today's topic, Brimhill. Alright, so I gear her in a crit set and knight set. Uh, we're gonna get her crit rate to close to 100%, but with my current gear, she is not 100% yet. Uh, I'm not too worried about this because as time goes by, as I f uh, fill the sanctuary here, I'm going to get some crit rate bonus. So eventually, I will get her to 100% crit, right? Um, and then I'm using a crit damage uh, accessory here and defense and speed like for the um, for this one you don't have to use speed you can use flat defense because like if you want to use her in arena all her damage comes from the counter attack from the passive so her skill kit is really long and to be honest I don't really care about what she does from the three active skills because if you have encountered this hero in a arena match you will know that all her damage comes from the passive which is counter attack so every time she gets hit her wolf spirit is gonna pursue and attack the main target all right so she's always going to need to counter attack and she is a defensive champion which means she is extremely tanky and she gets additional like damage reduction here, right? That like, damage reduction is 28% and a 40% effect risk. So she is really, really tough to deal with. We're gonna showcase her in arena. And I think as a champion like this, you don't even need five champions. So let's go in there. Um let's see if I can win this one with three champions. Alright. This is not uh, King tier arenas. This is only diamond tier, but we can do a good showcase here. This is a 
full auto. All right, let's see what she does here. Wait, I'm going first. All right. I should let them take hits. So Sorry, I should let them hit me. So anyways, you can see like her damage potential is really good. And this decreased attack does not bother me at all because she is not a attack based champion. Uh, she is defensive based. So yeah, I, I don't think they can just kill my team. <laughs> this is a three man team and it's too OP here. Look at this counter attack. Look at this counter-attack here. Okay, I gotta target Luna or I will not be able to kill her. Alright. Look at this damage. Luna is dead. Okay, so yeah, she's really good. Like, if you are able to build a team like this, for, for Nicholas and Pauline, you don't need exclusive, right? Uh, in arena, unless you get exclusive 3 on them, otherwise it's all the same. No exclusive or exclusive 3. So let's pick a relatively stronger team. This is diamond 3, so I might not be able to find a like super super good team to be honest. So let's see this one. This looks great, right? A lot of exclusive here. Let's see if it works. Full auto here. Alright, look at this counter attack, right? Get this AoE damage, counter attack, keep counter attacking. Okay, so this is also a very tanky team, but I'm literally taking no damage. Just look at this counter attack. Our right, freeze is annoying. I have to kill this Catherine, otherwise it's gonna take forever. Have to kill this Catherine here. Okay, come on, Catherine is dead. Okay, Catherine is dead. Wait, I just got one shot. No. Okay, so I don't think I can win like this. I need a damage dealer. So <laughs> just got one shot. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna just showcase her the normal way, I guess. Let's see. I'm just gonna put my space and Poseidon and let's just put let's just go like this. See her let's see her damage potential here, right? Okay. Let's do second ability and we're gonna boost Rim Healed to all enemy. This is an AoE hit. Let's see the damage here. Oh, this doesn't hit that hard. Okay, so let's let's uh, switch stings, and this is a uh, summon a ally wolf, and get an extra turn. See if I can kill space. Okay, so her he, uh, he, her active AOE skill doesn't hit that hard, but I think it's gonna work from the counter attack, right? this yeah her a1 is still good and she doesn't have any exclusive right now yeah her aoe's damage is not that great but i mean the counter attack is definitely great that lucifer does no damage okay so yeah, I think mostly people just put uh, her in a like super super tanky team with team of Nicholas and Pauline and Catherine and just four support champion to protect her and she's gonna do great. Like in this game, I think there is no... Oh, there is leaderboard. So look look at this. Bailey here, right? Brim healed. Brim healed. No Brim healed. Like, I mean, the point is this hero is everywhere. In King T Arena, alright? It's really everywhere. People like all the top players are using her. It's really hard to deal with her. Um, like I used to use Hazonia a lot, but my Hazonia just couldn't couldn't kill Brim Hill. You know? So let's try let's try some team with a damage dealer. Like I I will need this team to hit me. 
in order for this for my team to work. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's just put a super super tanky team here, and let's put Ben Austin, uh, Nicholas, and Pauling. I'll still need Nicholas and Pauling. The last one, who's who's gonna be the last one? All right, I don't even know who the last one gonna be. So let's just go like this. All right, let's just go like this. Full auto. Yeah, I think if you want to build a defense team uh, like this, the last one is going to be Catherine. Right, the last one is going to be Catherine, right. Okay, so it should be really easy. I'm just going to kill this Luna. She does all the damage. Okay, she does all the damage. Let's see, let's try this one. Wait, this one is... I, I won't be able to kill this one. They have an exclusive 3 necklace. So, I want to find a team that has a lot of damage dealer. So that will be a fun battle here. Yeah, this one seems cool. A lot of poison champion. Let's see. Ooh, look at the damage. Wait, my Ben Austin just got one shot. Alright, that's fine. Can I still win this? Still alive? Still alive. Look at, like, that poison team does a lot of damage. Still alive. Oh, Guhana has has healing, that's annoying. Okay, so that's it. And like I'll I'll try not to do the the exclusive three Nicholas team. Alright, that's gonna be annoying. So let's see this one. Last one, alright. I think that's just how you use her. Uh in, in arena. Alright. Look at this counterattack. Full counterattack. They don't have a reviver, so I think that would do it. Okay, that would do it. So yeah, I guess that's that's how that's just how you use her in arena. And for this champion, um, I made a mythic hero tier list video in Infinite Magic Raid. So yeah, she's kind of a niche champion. I think the only place you're gonna use her is Arena. All right, she's not going to help you a lot in other places. Uh, maybe campaign, but probably not. You know, and definitely not dungeons. And I don't think you really need her in in any place here. Maybe Tower of Mark, and maybe Brave Trial, right? And basically nowhere else. And for faction at best, you don't really need this champion in Dragon Tribe because there are so many good champions in this faction. You just don't need her in this faction at best. So if you want to go for this champion, think carefully because this is gonna be arena only. Do you really need a arena only champion? If you're end game player, that's fine, right? But if you're not end game, uh just don't pick her as your first two mythic. That's how I how let let's just put it that way, right? Let's not pick her as your first two mythic hero. And anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Just a reminder: if you want to spend a little bit of money in the in upcoming Easter event, make sure to use App Toy. It's gonna save you forty to fifty percent of in-game recharge. So why not, right? And I will see you guys in a video soon. Bye.